Hello, I am Dr. Harsha Reddy, Obstetrician and Gynecology, Consulting in Cloud9 Hospital, Bellendor. The treatment of hypertension in pregnancy depends upon what kind of hypertensive disorder we are dealing with. If it is a chronic hypertension, that means the hypertension was present prior to pregnancy, all we need to do is continue the medicines if she was taking any. If we feel that the medicines are not safe, we change the medication. Sometimes some medicines can give rise to certain abnormalities in the baby, so we tell her to change the medicines. Because the blood pressure has been long lasting, it was present before the pregnancy, we check her various organs which could have been affected by this rise, increased blood pressure, like her eyes and the heart as well as the functioning of the kidneys. We monitor the blood pressure during the course of the pregnancy as well because women with chronic hypertension, they have a 20 to 25 percent chance of developing a superimposed preeclampsia. The pregnancy induced change can also happen. And we also tell her to, we have to monitor the baby as well. So we tell her to keep a count of how many movements she feels per day, which is called as a kick count. We call her for a regular prenatal checks and we clinically assess how is the growth of the baby. She might require uh, regular ultrasound uh, monitoring to assess the growth of the baby as well as a Doppler to study the blood supply to the baby. Now, if the blood pressure is due to what we call as gestational hypertension where only the BP is raised, she may or may not require medicines. The baby's condition is monitored just as I explained before and this monitoring is continued even after delivery to see if the BP is going to normalize. Now, the last one is a preeclampsia, the toxemia. In this, the treatment is going to depend on various parameters. One, what is the level of the blood pressure? Is it mild or a very high increased BP readings? Two, how many weeks is she of pregnancy she is in? That means how far she is from the due date and uh, whether she has other symptoms, whether other organs are affected and what is the condition of the baby. Now usually when we are asked what is the treatment of preeclampsia, the only treatment is to deliver the baby, take out the baby and the placenta. That is the treatment for a patient with preeclampsia. So if the condition is mild where the BP is 140-90, the lower reading is called as a diastolic BP. So if the BP is, if the diastolic BP is within 100 millimeter of mercury, we may not even start her on any medicines or we may start her on a very low dose medicines to control the blood pressure. And if there are, if all her organs are functioning normally because she is not showing any symptoms and the blood tests are normal, the baby is fine, we'll continue the pregnancy up to term. We will not take a decision to deliver her early. But if the BP is rising, if it's more than 110, if the diastolic blood pressure is greater than or equal to 110 millimeter of mercury, she will invariably have certain warning symptoms. Her different organs of the body will start getting affected. The baby will also be affected. The baby is going to be growth restricted. Then we definitely will have to take a decision to prematurely deliver this woman.